If you have old neckties that have become a bit misshapen, or have simply gone out of style, it's time to give them a second chance. Today I'll show you how to create a necktie necklace, as well as a necktie wallet. This tutorial was sponsored by allfreesewing.com. Start by removing the wide end of the tie. I cut off about 8 inches. Make sure that it's tall enough to fold the pointed flap down over your phone plus another quarter inch for a bottom seam. Set aside. Take the tie apart and remove the inner lining. Press the tie to remove wrinkles. If your tie is silk, use extra caution, especially if you haven't had practice ironing silk before. It's safest to put a pressing cloth or dish towel over the tie, then to iron it with steam. Now we'll cut the tie into a rectangle. Measure the narrowest part of the tie, then trim off the wider portions to that measurement. My tie's narrowest section is 3 inches, so I'm folding my tie in half and cutting 1.5 inches in. This should give you a rectangle with even sides. With the tie folded in half, trim the ends at an angle to form a point. Fold the tie in half lengthwise with right sides together. Sew one short end shut and sew the long side with a quarter inch seam. I found it easier to leave a three inch hole for turning in the middle of the long side. Because it's a narrow tube, this makes turning right side out much easier. Leave the other short end open so you can insert the bead. Turn right side out through the middle hole. Then, sew the hole shut with a 1 8 inch top stitch. If you're hand sewing, use a blind stitch or ladder stitch. Make a knot in the tie about 10 inches from the sewn end. This will keep your beads in place. Now it's time to add the beads. I'm using 8 1 inch wooden beads. They cost about a dollar per package, but you can experiment and buy whatever's on sale at your craft store because they won't show. Insert a bead in the tube and slide it down to the knot. Tie a knot to keep the bead in place and continue adding beads. Try to keep the front free of seams. Stop when you have about 10 inches of tie left after the last knot. Fold in the raw edges of the tie and top stitch with a 1 8 inch seam. To wear, tie a loose knot at the back of your neck. Now it's time to put the other portion of our tie to good use. This little wallet features a ribbon loop so you can attach it to a keychain. Begin by ironing the tie. Protect it with a cloth and use steam. Trim the bottom edge so it's straight. Fold the tie right sides together and sew along the short side with a quarter inch seam. Rotate the fabric so the seam is now in the middle. Next sew along the bottom. Use a zigzag stitch to encase the raw edge. If you're hand sewing, use a blanket stitch to minimize fraying. Turn right side out. Now we'll add the snap. Hand sew one piece on the interior of the point. Sew the other snap piece where the fabrics meet. Make sure that when you fold the flap down, the two pieces match up. Finally, we'll add the ribbon loop. Cut 5 inches of ribbon and fold in half to make a loop. You can save yourself a step here by folding this ribbon loop in half lengthwise, making it very skinny. 
sew in place with a zigzag stitch. Because I didn't think to fold my ribbon in half lengthwise before sewing, I'm doing it now by sewing a couple of stitches to pinch the ribbon together. This just makes the wallet close more securely. If you'd like, you can add a lanyard hook to make it easier to take the wallet on and off your keychain. I hope you had fun making these thrifty necktie accessories. This tutorial was sponsored by allfreesewing.com. For hundreds more project ideas, visit my website, madebymarzipan.com.